Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked on a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. <sighs> they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf <laughs> and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes. I swear. <gasps> Stop!
Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Yay. Stupid reality shows. This must be my punishment. Ugh, I can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. So hard to focus. <clears throat> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. This room feels like a prison. But I'd rather stay here than go to Jolina Shore. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Yeah. Thanks for the card, agent. Can't wait to text you. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her.
Pat Stevens' leg is better. Must be tough on Claire. So glad Chris is okay. That kid is a real superhero on his own. This day feels like every other day, just like prison. Yo, afternoon checkup. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. <sighs> Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before, mm, you know, before they check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes, nice retina response. Okay, now. Try to follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good, good. Keep going. Straining too hard? Headache? <sighs> nah. I just can't really focus today. Sorry. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Hey, good job. Okay, let's do it again. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here. 
Read this. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first... Let's clean this dress. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. He <sighs> ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to... Go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Are you shitting me? That officer freaked out and shot him in front of me and Daniel. Just guilty of being... who knows. I hear you, but... You're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no! Look at me! Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's a statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> Okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? Me. It was my stupid idea. We got fired. I had to get money to help Daniel. Wait, you playing a dangerous heist from armed gangsters? You. I take the blame. It was my problems, my brother, my cross to bear. But you brought Finn into this. And what about Cassidy? You pushed her too? She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. They didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. 
Yeah, well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Flores? Sorry, Finn. Yes? That's just karma for dragging Daniel into this shit. Yes, Nicole. <sighs> Everything okay? She didn't want anything to do with this. Wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. You lied to me. You have no leads. You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean. But you did. And your brother is paying the price. Fuck. You. I'm done. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Wanna tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now, as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. 
You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch- Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. Joey, you are her boss. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. What? Wow. Haven't seen you in a long time. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait, what's that? Super Wolf? Huh? Does that mean, it means that Daniel Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? He's safe? I could see him again. Haven Point, Nevada. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. <sighs> 